Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical reports and in the previous video we started with get cursor statement we discussed with the help of get cursor wherever you are putting the cursor we will get the field name and field value of that. Now we will achieve same to same requirement now using get cursor. So what I will do, I will make a copy of the program and in that program, I will write the logic for the get cursor. So this is our program. I will make a copy. Previously also we make a copy and we have written the logic for the height. Now I will write the logic for the cursor. I will go for copy. I will just select all, copy. I will save it as a local object. I will go for change button and I will activate the program. So till basic list, our logic is same to same because on the basic list, we are displaying the data from order header table. On the secondary list, we are displaying the data from order item table. But now we will not go for SI, LI, SCL concept. We will use which concept? Get cursor. So I will simply comment this logic and I will activate. Firstly, I will simply go for right one and I will tell you because many people confused where we need to write the get cursor now. Suppose I'm putting the curse break point here as a part of add line selection event. I'm just executing the program. I will go for order number one to five. This is our basic list. I have put a cursor here. Now, after putting the cursor, if I will double click or if I will click, if I will put a cursor and do F2, if I will put a cursor and click on to choose button, which event will call add line selection. It means your get cursor logic should be the part of add line selection event because after selecting the line, if you are double clicking or if you are clicking on to choose button or if you are doing F2 after putting the cursor, then you need to get, get the field name and field value. It means your get cursor logic should be as a part of at line selection event. This is the extremely important point because firstly, we display the data after putting the cursor and then after that, whenever you will perform the action, it can be double click, it can be F2, it can be click on to choose button. Then we need to get the cursor position. Cursor position means we need to get the field name and field value. It means we will write this logic as a part of at line selection event. So what I will do, I will write the logic. And you all know what is the syntax for the same? Get cursor. Now, what is the keyword? Field. I will declare some variable for the field. Suppose LV underscore field. Then the keyword value and I will write LV underscore value. So this first variable will give me the field name and second variable will give me the value of that field. Now I will declare these variables. 
I will go for data. Suppose LV underscore field. Suppose I will give the length 30. Suppose type C. Suppose I will go for LV underscore value. Suppose I will go for same to same length 30 type C. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Firstly, before proceeding with the logic further, whenever I will show you in the debugging mode, it will give you more more clarity. And then after that, we will proceed with the rest of the logic part. I'm putting a cut break point as a part of at line selection event. I will run. So my data will display on the basic list. Now I put a cursor. Suppose I am putting a cursor on this order number three. Now I can do double click. I can do F2. I can click on to choose button. And you know which event will call at line selection. Suppose I am double clicking. Now I will go for desktop three. Now it is important because this is the conclusion of the topic. As of now, LV field and LV value is blank. Now I put the cursor on which field order number and what is the value of that? It is three. Now I'm executing. I'm doing F6. And have you seen? In this, I got the order number column and what is the value? 3. Now you can understand fully. Now I will just execute. Now I will just again put a cursor. Now, now I am putting a cursor on order date. You will understand from the starting itself, I am saying based upon the columns, I can display different, different things on the secondary list. Now I have put a cursor on order date. Suppose I'm clicking on to choose button. I can double click also. Now add line selection event called. This is previous. Now I will execute again. Have you seen what is the column order date and what is the value? This is the value. I will execute. I can display different data on secondary list. Suppose I'm putting the cursor here. Now, suppose I'm doing F2 now. So that everything is covered. This is previous. I'm doing F6. What is the column? Payment mode. What is the value? C. I'm doing F8. Now, suppose I'm putting the cursor here. And I'm supposed to double click. Now, if I will execute now, have you seen it is currency and what is the value United States dollars. So based upon wherever you are putting the cursor, this statement is giving us the field name also and we are getting the field value also.